There are 100 million black holes in our galaxy with vicious gravitational forces that devour everything in their path. If one headed straight for Earth and we were sucked into its deadly vortex, what would happen to our planet? Would mankind survive? It's a black hole, a supermassive black hole with a billion times the mass of the sun. Of all the objects in space, this lethal mass possesses the strongest gravitational pull, earning its name. Because nothing, not even light, can escape the grasp of a black hole. Anything or anyone that crosses its outer edge, an invisible boundary known as the event horizon, will never be seen again. The black hole coming toward Earth has cruised through the universe for billions of years, growing larger as it swallows stars, planets, and everything else in its path. Some people compare a black hole to a celestial zombie. It comes to life anytime something comes too close. It grabs that object in its clutches and never lets go. Every black hole is capable of reanimating itself whenever it's in the vicinity of matter. And so every black hole has the capability to suddenly spring to life as a truly vicious killer. Albert Einstein first predicted the existence of black holes in 1916, when he presented his equations of general relativity. Although the first one wasn't spotted until 1971. Now, scientists say millions of them exist throughout the galaxy. And some of them move rapidly through space. We used to think that black holes were stationary, but we were shocked. Shocked to find that there are rogue black holes that wander across the galaxy. As the Earth nears the black hole, its intense gravity starts sucking the sun's light towards it and away from the Earth. As the Earth is drawn ever closer to this black hole, it's like entering a cave, and there's only darkness within. Light from the stars, the other planets, and the sun shrinks to a single small point in the sky. Traveling more than a million miles an hour, the event horizon, the invisible boundary of the black hole, closes in on our planet. And once the threshold is crossed, there's no escape. If you get so close to a black hole that you're in the grip of the gravitational field, then no matter what you do, you're doomed to fall into the black hole. Nobody on Earth is safe or secure once the event horizon of a supermassive black hole has been breached. But for a while, life would go on on the surface of the Earth. As the Earth finally passes through the event horizon, it's majestic. Instead of a big bang, there is light. Once you've crossed the event horizon of the black hole, it's now possible for you to see the light that's inside that can't escape from the event horizon. You notice strange light effects like the light from stars coming in from some weird angle and flashing into your eyes, and other weird effects like this. This cosmic light show may be amazing, but it's also confirmation that our planet has entered the black hole, and now we're being pulled closer to the doomsday point at its center, known as the singularity. The singularity is the point where all of the mass of the star collapsed into. As the Earth approaches the singularity, the black hole's gravity is stronger on one side of the Earth than the other. 
And so because of that difference in strength of gravity, there's a stretching and a squeezing effect that gets applied to the Earth. With the Earth close to the singularity, buildings, bridges, and then the Earth's surface itself violently buckles. The black hole's gravity is now so strong that it can bend, twist, or tear our planet like a sheet of paper. Relatively quickly, the previously familiar shapes of the continents and oceans start changing until they're unrecognizable. At this point, the Earth is being stretched to such a degree, it's physically distended, and it finally just gives way. And there's such amount of heat built up that when the crust starts to break up, you'd have magma all over the place. When it's being ripped apart, those kind of geologic events, volcanoes, earthquakes, everything is going to be going off at once. The absolute, utter, concise destruction of the planet on a cosmological scale. As the material that had been the Earth is drawn ever closer to the core of this black hole, what happens is the strength of gravity goes up so quickly that you can start to rip apart not just a planet into rubble, but you rip apart the rubble into dust, and then you rip apart the dust into molecules, the molecules into atoms, and then it's possible you even rip the atoms apart into subnuclear particles. After the supermassive black hole has passed through our portion of the Milky Way, where there once was our solar system, is only a cleared lane where not even interstellar dust remains. It's conceivable that one or more of the spacecraft that humans have sent beyond the distant planets wouldn't get gobbled up by the black hole, would miraculously be on a trajectory that allows it to escape the black hole. These space probes contain microscopic hitchhikers. We know that microbes can be extraordinarily hardy, even in the harsh conditions of space. And maybe, just maybe, if this landed on a planet around a distant star and the conditions were right, that life would come out of hibernation. And that could actually seed life on another world. And in that way, maybe a piece of Earth could survive. There's also another theory, one that bodes much better for the survival of mankind. Albert Einstein, one of the most influential scientists in history, suggested an astounding possibility. His equations indicated that Earth could slip through a black hole unscathed into a parallel universe. If you take a look at Einstein's equations, you realize that if a black hole is spinning, spinning rapidly, and that's what we see in outer space, all black holes are spinning very rapidly, we see that the singularity is actually a ring, not a dot at all. Einstein's equations predict the Earth might be able to enter the ring. If you fall through the ring, you actually don't die. You're not spaghettified. You can actually go right through the ring. Then the question is, well, where does this lead to? The mathematics says there's a parallel universe on the other side of a black hole. This is actually based on real science research conducted in the mid to late 20th century. And the idea is a singularity warps space so dramatically that it may actually connect to otherwise totally unconnected portions of the universe. The final encounter with the singularity, we don't know how that unfolds. Singularity, by definition, right now is a location where the laws of physics, as we currently understand them, break down. In all likelihood, however, the environment is so destructive and so powerful that the Earth would be completely obliterated. 
more likely for us. The black hole is the end of space, the end of time, the end of everything.